a D loop on a recurve. Let's get it. What's going on everybody? I'm gonna try something different today. Looked it up, I haven't really seen a whole lot of videos on it. I'm gonna put a D-loop on my recurve and try to shoot it like that, just see what happens. Lucky on the first try. Got a D loop on my recurve. There's only one thing left to do now. Let's go shoot it. All right, there you got it. I got a D loop on my recurve. I've also got my old Bear Claw release. This is my very first release that I ever owned. I bought this thing 20 years ago when I first started archery hunting, and I just kept it. It's still in great shape which brings you back to the point of they don't make things like they used to. But we'll see if this thing could hold up to the uh, recurve. And that'd be kind of neat just to pull the old boy out and see what happens with it. But make sure everything's tight on here. Let's sling one and see what happens. That's actually pretty sweet. I ain't even gonna lie. You still get the recurve feeling, no sights, no rest or anything, and but it's so much easier just to pull that trigger. Traditional with a little bit of a modern twist. It helps you set your anchor point a little bit better so you're more consistent. Yeah, baby. That's awesome. <laughs> A lot more consistent. The reason I wanted to try this is I looked it up and I didn't really see a whole lot of videos on it. I think one guy has a video on it that I've seen. I didn't really look really far, really hard for it. I'm sure there's more out there, but um, I've seen one guy actually have a video D-loop on a recurve. So, something I wanted to play around with and just mess around to see how it was, and I'm, I'm pretty happy with it, to be honest with you. This thing may uh, be staying on there. Let's try one about 15 yards away, see if it makes any difference. I still need to practice, so I might not hit the target at all, but you never know. 15 yards, see what it does. Yeah. Well, that's all I got for you today, breaking out the recurve with the D-loop on it and the old school bear claw release, the very first release I've ever owned. These two in a combo, that's pretty sweet. With the consistency that I've just shot just now with it and the different feel, the way it feels and all that, I'll be taking a deer with this this year. Still a little more practice to do, but Later in the year, I'll try to go after a doe or something. When I get better, I'll start popping rabbit. There it is, D-loop on a recurve. I like it. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. I'm not trying to do away with traditional archery. I'm just trying to make it easier on the fingers. And it definitely did that and actually is way more consistent uh, just from the way I was shooting. But let me know in the comments what you think. Give this a try. This is actually pretty neat. It feels great. It gives you, you still got the traditional recurve, 
and you still got that traditional feeling and all that stuff. Everything is traditional as can be with it. You're just using a release. Use whatever release you want. This is just the old school release, my bear claw. Uh, this is my very first relief, release I ever owned. So it's kind of neat to bring this from the past back out and pair it up with some traditional. So pretty cool. That's all I got for you. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Till next time. Thanks, y'all.